What's up everyone, welcome back, Patrick here and moving on to another example, a little bit more practice with function notation. So we gotta find f of five over four and f of three plus a for these two functions over here. So we got f of x equals three x over x squared minus one, that's the first function. So let's start with uh, f of five over four. So what we're gonna do is plug in five over four for the x value. So we'd have three times five over four all over five over four to the power of two minus one, like that. So this here would end up being 15 over four, right? When we multiply the three and the five over four. Here, this would end up being 25 over 16 minus one, right? You could take that exponent, distribute it to the numerator and denominator, end up with 25 over 16. Now this one here, you could change to be 16 over 16, so you can combine these into one fraction. So you'd have 15 over four divided by, over here, this would end up being nine over 16, which would be like 15 over four times 16 over nine. And then uh, four goes into 16 four times. And then 15 over nine, that would simplify to what? F uh, five over three? Right? If we divide both by three, so final answer ends up being 20 over three, like that. All right, so f of five over four after all of this algebra over here ends up being 20 over three for this particular function. Now, f of three plus a, what we would do is we would plug in three plus a for the x value. So we'd have three times three plus a all over three plus a to the power of two minus one. So this here would end up being, you know what, let's just keep maybe the top factored for now. And then over here, what you would do is you would foil out that three plus a. So three plus a times three plus a, that would give us nine plus six a plus a squared minus one. And then uh, at this point, we'll have three times three plus a over, uh, this would simplify to a squared plus six a, and then nine minus one gives us positive eight, like that. And then you wanna see, can you simplify this further? That's why I kept the numerator factored. So then we could see, can we factor the uh, denominator and a squared plus six a plus eight, that actually doesn't factor smoothly. So this here ends up being the final answer, or if you wanna distribute, you would have nine plus three a up top. But the reason why I kept it factored is I wanted to see if this is gonna factor and maybe potentially factors canceling out, simplifying further, but because the denominator doesn't factor any further, then that is the final answer. All right, so either this or that ends up being f of three plus a for this function over here. Now moving on to the second function, we got f of x equals three minus two times the square root of six minus three x. So starting with f of five over four, we would end up having three minus two times the square root of six minus three times five over four. And so we would end up having three minus two times the square root of six minus 15 over four like that, which would be three minus two times the square root. Uh, now the six here would change to 24 over four. If we wanna get it into one fraction. And so continuing this up here, we would end up with three minus two times the square root. 24 minus 15 gives us nine. So this would end up being the square root of nine over four. And the square root of nine over four, that would actually be three over two. And we could square root the um, numerator and denominator. So this, notice the twos would cancel out, and then we'd have three minus three, which would just give us zero. So f of uh, five over four for this particular function over here is actually equal to zero. And then if we wanna get f of three plus a, 
we'd plug in three plus a for this x value. So we'd have three minus two times the square root of six minus three times three plus a, like that. And then we'd have three minus two root six minus nine minus three a, like that. And so this here would end up being negative three minus three a, like that. Right, if you wanna make it maybe look a little nicer, you can write three minus two and you can factor out a negative three. So you would end up with one plus a under that square root, negative three times one plus a. So that's another way to write this maybe. But uh, either this or that ends up being the final answer for f of three plus a for that function.